Hi, my name's Nikki, and I want to tell you a story about my good friend, Wes. On October 19th, Wes's daughters found him unconscious on the kitchen floor while making breakfast. He was rushed to emergency where his wife, Linda, watched him for the next five hours cycle from grand mal seizure to unconscious. After numerous tests, an MRI scan showed something abnormal on his right temporal lobe, so he was sent for biopsy surgery. And a few days later, he found out he had grade three brain cancer. Even with his young age and relatively good health, his odds are pretty long. Let me paint a picture of Wes with a few handy stereotypes. If Wes was a character in a high school comedy, he'd be the popular kid that is nice to all the unpopular kids. If Wes was in a romantic comedy, he would be the uh, <laughs> stable married guy uh, who was still loved by his wacky friend. If he was a character in a Vietnam movie, he'd be the practical joker on base. The guy that would carry his friend 10 miles over rugged terrain just to save him. If he was an animated movie, he'd be a giraffe. He'd be a giraffe. He'd be a giraffe. A few years ago, Wes, Linda, and their two daughters moved to Duncan, a small town on Vancouver Island. To live in a tight-knit community, close to nature, with good schools for the girls. All in all, they live a very modest life. And although the Canadian healthcare system will cover most of the basic costs, it won't cover any of the uh, alternative or experimental treatments, which, to be frank, is really his best hope. Beyond that, they will need to pay their mortgage and put food on the table. In short, they need our help. Yeah, I've known Wes for 20 odd years. He's an amazing guy. He's got a heart of gold. And um, you know, if this was any one of us, he'd be leading the charge. He believes in giving back to his community and has always helped people in need, and he instills that in his daughters. If you are willing and able to help, please consider donating. Every penny will make a difference, especially if we all participate. That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah.